This is ESPN, the Entertainment and Sports Programming Network. That was Dixon in there that time, my fault. Second and seven, heat on Holloway, got it away anyway. Pearson makes the catch in front of Jones and gets away. Holloman had to come back to make the tackle. Well, a decision in the secondary. John, what I was going to say is the most important thing that the Argonauts could do at that stage of the game was get out of that bad area down there by the goal line. And this is just what they did here. Holloway throws the ball deep. The defender again has his back turned, just turns around in time to see it coming. And by the meantime, Pearson catches the ball, makes a nice gain, and improves that field position, and probably gets them in a position where they can hold this lead going in at the first half. A 37-yard pickup for the Argos. They have a first down at their own 50-yard line. It's exactly as you said, Leo. They should be able to hang on with 135 to play to the half. Over the middle, Pearson again. High ball. Finally made the tackle. Pearson might have been lucky because Kepley came flying across the top. Excellent thrown pass, though. Holloway reads the zone defense. Pearson goes in behind it, and he just drops that ball right over top of Dixon's head. Watch Holloway. You'll see Dixon there, and the ball just over his head right there into the hole, and Pearson's there all by himself. A good play right now would be, as far as the Argonauts are concerned, to try to stay inside those hash marks, run the football, and take their three points, not take any chances on interceptions or anything here. If you joined us late, the Argonauts lead the Eskimos 15 to 4. There's a minute, nine seconds to play till halftime. And I know, Lancaster, you're looking to be as much as to say you should go for broke. You got to go get him. You got a chance to get him down. Get him down. Let's go. Got a minute left. A lot of time. Well, I hope you don't throw an interception. Pressure on Holloway. He unloads for Greer. something to go in at halftime with. Andrew Sisson adds to the total. The Toronto Argonauts in front of the Edmonton Eskimos, 22 to 4. Who would have believed it? That is a great play right there. They, somebody's paying attention because the last two times they've thrown it, Holloman's almost intercepted it. This time they used Holloman's aggressiveness to their advantage, scored a touchdown with 50 seconds left in the half got to be a big boost for him going in at the half up this many points. Maybe time for one more play. No. That's it for the first half. And a resounding ovation for the Toronto Argonauts who have been very convincing in the opening half of football in their home ball yard tonight. The Toronto Argonauts have the Eskimos trailing by 18 points. And there's reason to celebrate here in Toronto. When's the last time you heard that kind of noise out of this stadium? Maybe on a great cup afternoon, but certainly not since we watched the Argonauts in the last little while. It's halftime in Toronto, and you see the score. 